Welcome to Sacred Prayers. I'm grateful that you've joined me today, and I pray if you are in need of nourishment that you would take a look at the Sacred Trilogy on our church website under Virtual Discipleship. You will find sacred songs, sacred stories, and that's where you'll also find sacred prayers. So if you haven't had a chance to look at those, I invite you to do so. Hear these words. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things, which you do not know. What then shall we say to these things if God is for us? Who can be against us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God, and I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Let us know and let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and I will not turn away from doing them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts so that they will not depart from me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. Let us pray. Oh, Jesus, on this day we join together as a body of Christ. And on this day we praise the name of Jesus, our Savior and our Messiah. Let us hold tight to these words of promise and these words of truth. Let us hold tight and hold fast. And let us find joy in all that they mean. Oh God, we ask for your nourishment in these scary days in this pandemic. We pray that you would keep our church family safe and close, knit us together even closer than we were before. We ask for those who are ill. We pray, oh God, that you would heal them in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the volunteers who have worked so tirelessly and our staff mem members of the church who have worked so tirelessly to help our church grow and to keep us safe while we're here worshiping. We give you all the praise and all the glory for all that they do each and every day. Oh Jesus, we just praise the name of Jesus. We sing praises to our Lord in the valleys of our life, in the mountains of our life. We sing praises to the Lord. Oh, let us sing praises to the name of Jesus, our Savior and Messiah, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the sweet rose of Sharon and the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. 
the sweet rose of Sharon. Oh, Jesus, we praise your name today. Let us lift our hands to the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you would empty each and every one of us, empty us of ourselves, so that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit and filled with the joy of Jesus Christ, so that we can be free to glory in the cross of Jesus. We can glory in the promises of Jesus, and we can glory in the saving grace of Jesus. Father, we lift up those who are addicted and we ask that you would free them from the addiction. Give them one more moment, one more day, one more week, one more month, free from that addiction. In the name of Jesus, we claim victory. Father God, help us to examine ourselves. Help us to examine our doings so that we can be purified by the blood of Jesus. We ask that you would forgive us of our sins we ask that you would wash us clean on this day. Help our eyes to be completely focused on you, O Lord, and not on ourselves. We ask, O God, that you would break our hearts with the burdens that break your hearts. And as Mother Teresa said, we ask that you would break our heart, that everyone can fall in to our hearts and that we can be of service we pray for all the ministries that we have at our church that are helping others. We pray for the food bank. We pray for the soup kitchen, for the uh, beds for the children, all the different ministries, oh God. <clears throat> we pray that you would help them to grow and help them have all that they need to reach out to those in need. Oh, Father, we claim victory. We claim victory in the name of Jesus, and we ask for the Comforter to come. O oh, Comforter, come. Heal the brokenhearted, O oh, Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that you would revive us today. We ask that you would replenish our souls today. We ask that you would re refresh us today by the mercy and the grace of Jesus Christ. We pray that you would forgive us again for our sins. Help us to do all we can, as much as we can, to help as many as we can. Oh, Jesus, help us. Help us to be a church that looks outward and not inward. Father God, we claim victory and we thank you for all the blessings that you've bestowed upon each and every one of us. We claim victory for what you're doing in this church. Help us to grow in the name of Jesus. And Father, how can we have a revival in a pandemic? But I pray, O oh God, that you would cause it to happen. Help us to have a revival right during the middle of a pandemic. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, and the power of Jesus, we claim victory. Hear these words. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from him. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. For I say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. <clears throat> so Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, 
move from here to there, and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. For we walk by faith and not by sight. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Let us praise the name of Jesus for these truths and these promises from him. Let us cling to the word of God, the power in his name. Let us say the name Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And let us believe it is filled with power. And Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, let us claim victory. God bless you, and I pray that you will have a beautiful week. Thank you for joining me for Sacred Prayers. Amen.